Dear colleagues, this is a non-intumescent white cataract. 2.8 millimeter main incision is made at a desired site and three clock hours away on the left side a paracentesis incision is made. Now a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and I stain the anterior capsule of the lens with tripan blue dye underneath this air bubble. The dye is washed out immediately afterwards and then 2% HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is filled up with this OVD. Now three clock hours away on the right side another paracentesis incision is made. Now capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the capsule with a 26 case bent cystitome and a flap is raised. We can see there is no oily fluid coming out in this case so the cataract is not intumescent. I go anticlockwise and make an optimum sized capsulorexis. Then I take a 27 gauge cannula and pass a fluid wave between the capsule and the lens matter. Decompress the lens matter so that the fluid trapped behind comes forward. Viscoelastic substance is again injected and now is the time to enter into the eye with the tip of the phaco handpiece. The superficial lens matter is removed and in such cases nowadays I do direct chop. In this case I have not gone very deep into the lens but I have been able to chop this nucleus. I rotate the nucleus, hold it with high vacuum and chop it. Rotate it again and I am placing the bevel of the tip of the phaco handpiece to the left side so that uh, it occludes nicely. I get a firm grip and I can chop the nucleus. So the nucleus is divided into several parts and each part is now emulsified and engulfed. At this time the phaco power in this case is 65 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. So almost half of the nucleus has been removed now this portion this another half I divide these parts again and emulsify and take it out so the nucleus is almost removed only a small fragment is there. With the help of the left hand instrument I bring it to the center and I apply ultrasonic energy on this, emulsify it and remove it. Now I can see that the epinucleus is very thin and if I try to remove this thin epinucleus with the tip of the phaco handpiece I may cause a PC rent. So I use my direct Simco cannula I pull this epinucleus in the towards the center as much as possible and now 
I inject some OVD and I make the chamber nicely formed. Some amount of OVD goes behind this epinucleus and then I go into the antechamber again with the tip of the FECO handpiece. I am in epinuclear removal mode at this time where the FECO power is only 20, flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 300. So, the cortex epinucleus has been nicely removed and the cortical matter is there. Remember, if there is thin epinucleus and if you try to remove this with the tip of the FECO handpiece, you may cause PC rent. It has occurred in my hands just a month ago. So, this is how I remove the uh, lens fibers which are at the equator of the capsular bag. I usually remove this with this very simple instrument, direct Simco cannula. So, the cortical matter is nicely removed. I polish the posterior capsule a little bit. Posterior capsule is very clear in this case. So, an intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag under irrigation. The irrigation keeps the anterior chamber formed and with the with a tap of the left hand instrument, the trailing haptic of the eye wheel goes into the capsular bag. That's it. We have finished this case. Now, this is moxifloxacin. Little bit of moxifloxacin I inject and I hydrate the side ports with and the chamber is formed. Thank you very much for watching.